for Simca 17, we've had a spectroscopy focus, and this has resulted in a new integrated type of spectroscopy project. In early versions, choosing spectroscopy project triggered a skin with spectra related functionality, but now all that functionality will appear integrated in the usual selection of buttons. This video will describe how to initiate a spectroscopy project in Simca 17 in a proper way and what functionality it triggers inside Simca to help you get the most out of your spectroscopy data. Spectral data can be imported in many ways, as multiple files or, as in this demo, an Excel file where both spectra and concentration values are combined in the same file. We start spectroscopy project. We look for our data from file. And Simca will automatically list and be prepared to open any of the many file formats it supports. So we select the Excel file, open. A spectral project needs a spectral ID, which is a numerical vector of wavelengths, wave numbers, particle size values, or similar. This is the vector that will be used as x-axis in plots. In this case, it's the first row, and I go to the spectral ID button, and here we have some predefined options, wavelength, wave number, Roman shift, and so on. But you can also create your custom spectral ID and type in the, whatever you want to call it. If you don't have a numerical vector, you can also generate one uh, from this menu. But in this case, we will call this Raman shift because this is the Raman spectroscopy data. As you can see in this case, the first row uh, is not all numerical. It also contains the names of the Y variables. So if I click Finish Import, I get a warning message. You can now let Simca perform the recommended solutions or manually inspect and resolve them by yourself. And this is what I will do. I will click Review Issues and the Issues pane opens up. And here you can read that the Raman shift must be numerical and the recommended solution is to split the data. And I'm okay with this, so I will click Resolve All. And Simca now splits the data into two data sets, since it wants the spectral data separate from the concentrations. It also sets all the variables with non-numerical names as Y variables. If this is not what you want, you can change them to X now, or you can do it later. But here I want them to be Y. But I do want to change the name of the data set. So I type in Y data. Okay. Then I click finish import and then I save my project. When Simca detects a data set with a spectral ID defined, it automatically introduces some special spectroscopy related buttons. There's a Spectra button, and there's a Calibration Wizard button, and later on we'll see some more buttons appearing. But all this functionality is triggered by the Spectral ID, so it can be good to know that you can set this and change this later on inside Simca, not only in the import. So if I bring up the Raman dataset, I right-click Properties, and I go to the General tab, I can control not only the uh, spectral ID and the ID name, I can also control the data set name. Uh, it can also be worth mentioning that the spectroscopy functionality is also triggered in old projects that contain filtered data sets. But then it is recommended that you start by defining the spectral ID as I just showed. The Calibration Wizard is a special wizard for creating and comparing 1Y calibration models that is described in detail in a special Simca 17 feature video. Uh, in Simca 17, we have also modified the spectra plot. So let's have a look at that one. 
By default, the spectra are colored by the first Y variable, but this can be controlled easily in the properties pane where you can switch between the different Y variables. You can also modify the, the, the different axes of the plot. So if you click on one of the axes, you can easily access the reverse and the log transform to change the visualization of your plot. But more on that plot interactivity can be found in the feature video called Miscellaneous Improvements. The spectra select functionality has also been modified and it's been combined with a tooltip or screen reader to be able to highlight spectra and inspect one or more spectra. So if I select one of the spectra and then I press control, I can tag more than one spectra. And by tagging them, I can then follow the intensities of these spectra and compare them. More on the special spectroscopy related buttons and can be found in the calibration wizard video and the video covering miscellaneous improvements. And this concludes the feature video on the integrated spectroscopy tools. Hope you find this new functionality useful and make sure to check out other videos in our YouTube channel, Sartorius Data Analytics. Thanks for watching.